I hope you will forgive me for remaining in my seat. I have a little bit of difficulty moving around. First, I want to uh, dedicate my remarks to the memory of uh, Bob Carter, sorry, uh, who passed away after he returned to Australia following the Paris meeting. I also want to thank Joe and Diane Bast for doing a magnificent job of editing the various volumes of the NIPCC, or as I call it, NIPIC, the Non-Governmental International Panel on Climate Change. I, today, I want to discuss the new things that I've learned and convince you of uh, the correctness of these remarks by presenting evidence. Evidence, real evidence. The first slide shows an iconic graph that you will all recognize. It shows that the surface temperature of the 20th century, and immediately you recognize what many people consider to be two periods of warming. An initial period from 1910 to 1940. I can't see too well from here, but you see it. And And then uh, a second warming. Now, the first warming is genuine. I want to convince you that the second warming does not really exist. It's fake. It's an artifact of the analysis. So I will convince, try to convince you of that. That's actually very simple. What I do is to compare these surface data with uh, other data that are available. The next slide shows some of those data. What is available shows that the initial warming in the early part of the century is matched by proxy data. The second warming, so-called warming, contradicts eight different, eight different data sets. Therefore, the second warming is not genuine. It's not really a fake, as I've called it. It's not faked with a D at the end. It just <coughs> is an artifact of the analysis of the data. I will show you that uh, reasoning by evidence, both ocean data and land data are poorly analyzed. But I bet you that this audience of mostly skeptics still believes that the second warming between 1975 and 2000 exists. It does not. It is not a global warming. The next slide yeah, shows some of the different data sets that disagree with the second warming. The atmospheric data, ocean data, the, uh, the Nighttime marine air temperature uh, all disagree with, and the proxy data, all disagree with the second warming. You have eight different data sets, including the solar data. They also disagree. The next slide.
yeah, shows the extreme temperatures. You see the extreme temperatures only existed in the 1930s. There are no extreme temperatures in, during the period of the, the so-called second warming. So extreme temperatures only exist in the early warming, which is genuine, but not caused by carbon dioxide. So the result is that there is no evidence of carbon dioxide causing any significant warming in the 20th century. None whatsoever. That is a result that I recognized early on, but I've been reluctant to put it forward because I didn't have enough evidence. Here is some of the evidence. First of all, about atmospheric warming, you see the th theoretical uh, calculations on the left and the actual observations on the right. They do not agree. This is published in a government report and is now well known. The so-called hotspot, which was assumed, uh, postulated by Ben Santa does not exist. Neither the balloon evidence nor the satellites show a warming trend in the tropical troposphere. The next slide shows the ocean data, the best ocean data we have by Goretsky and John Kennedy of the Hadley Center, you'll see hardly any warming in the latter part of the 20th century. So the ocean data do not support the so-called second warming. The next slide shows the, na the nighttime marine air temperatures. Again, you'll see that the 90s are about the same temperature as the 1940s. Both in the tropics and globally. The expert on this subject is John Kennedy at the Hadley Center, who kindly made the data available to me. They're very difficult observations. Nighttime marine air temperature but it is the only genuine measurement of air temperature close to the ground over the ocean. The next slide shows the, prox the first proxy data that I saw in 1996. These are tree ring data. They show the first warming you see it between roughly 1900 and 1940. And then no warming in the latter part of the 20th century. Oops. Let's go back. Here we are. These are the proxy data. Now, what? Would you like me to ram the pointer for you? No, I'm okay. Now, you see, this gave me the first inkling that the proxy data do not match this temperature data from the surface. That's 20 years ago, 21 years ago. And that was published 20 years ago in my first book on climate science, Hot Dog Cold Science. Next uh, shows the other set of data from Michael Mann, the famous hockey stick graph. And now I come to a subject of deception. Man 
has withheld his proxy data after 1979. I can't get them to publish it. You see why? It would destroy the blade of the hockey stick because there is no warming. And this illustrates the so-called nature trick that people have accused Michael Mann of. By the way, the accusation came from Phil Jones in England, who referred to Michael's, Michael Mann's nature trick. What Mann did is to withhold his proxy data and substitute uh, data from weather stations in order to get the blade of the hockey stick. That is pure deception. I have been trying to get him to publish his work, but he won't do it. Next slide. Shows more proxy data, all of which show no warming in the latter part of the 20th century. Next slide. This is uh, uh, published by Eike in Germany. Uh, it is the only NIPCC report that was not published by Heartland. Next slide. Next slide. This is from the first IPCC report published by Heartland. It shows something that's obvious, namely that the sun warms the top layer of the ocean during the day, but not at night. Why? Because the sun doesn't shine at night. We all know that. You see the warming? You know, if you mix the data together and take into account the fact Next slide. This is from the report. Next slide. You'll see that ocean buoys, which float at the top of the ocean, started to increase in 1980. And by, by 2000, they constituted about 60% of the data. Well, if you take that into account, of course you get a fictitious warming. It's entirely fictitious. It's an artifact of the analysis. Next slide shows the land data, and here you see what happened during the early during the latter part of the twentieth century. Suddenly, the number of stations dropped by something like 60%, and now most of the stations are at airports. Now, airports are notorious for being not only rural, but also having increasing temperatures. Why? Because air traffic increases roughly 5% per year. So on average, this change in the population of stations would give you a fictitious warming. And that is the reason why I believe we have a, a, a fictitious warming in the second part of the 20th century. It does not exist. Now the question is, the third question, why do we not see a warming from CO2? After all, CO2 is a greenhouse gas. Next slide. You see, there's clearly no warming from CO2. The models all incorporate an increase of CO2. The data do not show it. 
Next slide. The answer is solar activity is the main cause of global warming. We'll hear more about this from uh, Willie soon. Next slide. How I became a skeptic. I, it took me a while. But gradually became to disbelieve in global warming from CO2 or any significant global warming from CO2. I, I will say this, I'm not a denialist. I'm not a lukewarmer either. I just want the, the evidence. One word about denial. Denial varies from people who say there is no climate change, which obviously is silly. Of course there is climate change. To all the way to people who say denial that's nothing but a big river in Africa. <laughs> well, that's true, too. Next slide. Next, final slide. Conclusions. The warming in the second half of the 20th century is fictitious. There is no evidence that I know of for warming, for climate warming from CO2. CO2, therefore, is not a pollutant. Uh, or not. To explain what, what CO2 does requires uh, some sophisticated analysis, which is still in progress. I'd be glad to discuss it with you. That's the end of my talk. Thank you.